Hi everybody, it's Christy Forsyth from Clarity here for you with this week's energy report. First of all, let me know how you guys are doing in all of this energy. There's been so many changes, so much shifting going on, um, and I'd love to hear from you in comments below how things are going for you. But let's hop into the energy this week. So this week is, well, it's a, a funny energy. So I'll tell a story that I think will help to describe it. I just about 10 minutes ago found myself sitting in my office staring at the rainbow that this prism that I have hanging on my window, um, at the rainbow that the prism had created on my wall for about 10 minutes. Um, and while I'm usually pretty distracted by pretty sparkly rainbowy things, um, I think that that's a little bit of the energy right now is that we can be a little bit zombie like we can be um a little bit easy easily distracted we can get caught up in sort of our thinking or um even just things that we don't need to be focusing on you know but but things that are coming in to distract us um focusing on drama that's showing up for us that really isn't something that we need to involve ourselves in or focus on or put our energy into but i think that is a little bit of the energy this week is just that is that we are trying to learn how to navigate our way out of this and not allow ourselves to get too distracted we are in between eclipses right now and i think it's a little bit of that energy too where it's like just kind of like the energy is just sitting here so it's not good it's not bad it's not really a whole lot of anything and we can get caught in sort of a little bit of this lull and maybe we're feeling a little bit more tired and needing to go to bed a little bit earlier or you know, maybe we're just taking a little bit more time out for downtime and all of that is okay. All of that is good and it's okay to get distracted. But I also think that right now it's so important for us to make sure that we're staying on track, that we are staying focused on our goals and on the things that we're working towards. There's still that energy going on that we need to be focusing on and making sure that we're making things happen. And it's going to be a little bit harder to push ourselves through this energy because it's a little bit thick. It's a little bit you know, just, I don't know, like, eh, meh, it's a little meh. Um, and so we want to make sure that we are trying to push ourselves, that we're trying to stay focused, that we're doing our very best. Maybe we want, we want to add a little, I don't know, like structure into our life uh, this week to make sure that we're getting to the things that we want to get to. Maybe we want to give ourselves a to-do list so that we're making sure we're checking those things off. But just being really careful to not get too stuck in this energy, to not get too distracted by the sparkly things where you're not accomplishing the things that you need to accomplish. Because on the other side of this energy, there's some really great things manifesting. We have, um, I, from what I understand, a lot of planets in retrograde are moving in and out of retrograde and then we're stepping into mercury retrograde next week and so that will be a period of just us revisiting things exploring things um spending some time just thinking about things and processing things and there's not going to be a whole lot of forward movement but on the other side of this there will be so we want to make sure that we're putting in the work that we're getting things done that we need to get done especially um, doing as much as we can before we get started with that retrograde i'm christy forsyth from clarity here for you today with this week's energy report if you want to learn more about me or clarity you can check us out at discoveryourawakening.com and make sure you check out our clarity university that is also at discoveryawakening.com. I will see you guys next week with another energy report. Take care.